We did it guys, we got the loner car. We're on the move again. Clean off my desk space, make some nice clean room. cleaned all that off, needed that desk space, that nice little area on my desk where I can actually put things down, use my camera, and I got one final touch to add here while I'm sitting down. Just a little extra touch here while I'm sitting around when I'm talking to you guys. So I think the desk is all set, all cleared off. Let's go outside and do a run today. We're gonna go all the way up Mount Beacon, do a little something fun, get out on the trails. Should be about a five mile loop. Let's get outside. melting up here, making it a little slippery, so we're just being careful, moving forward. Whew. All right, here we go, keep climbing. trail is a full-on river or stream of water just flowing down the mountain the ice is melting we also had a lot of rain yesterday and last night so just tons of water pouring off the mountain keeping it safe we're gonna keep going still just taking it nice and easy getting a nice climb in see if we can get safely up to the fire tower Step one, just step one. So this is the first like plateau I wanted to go. There's a fire tower somewhere back there. That's the goal, but it got really windy and cold up here. It's icy, not sure we're gonna make it. I'm gonna go a little farther, keep checking on the conditions. You can probably hear the wind, just see what's up there.
up here, but if you can hear me, we're not gonna go up there. It's a little too windy for climbing the fire tower, and it's too windy to hang out here for very long. Unfortunately, it's a cloudy day. Woo! What I was trying to say is unfortunately it's a cloudy day. Even going back to like some of my other videos, like when I climbed Mount Marcy in New York, 4,000 feet, like a 14 mile one day run up and down. And uh, it was cloudy when I got up there. So cloudy again, but it's just fun to challenge myself and do some vertical. I did almost slip once. I actually have it on camera. Oh. So I'm not gonna film running down. We're just gonna get back down to the bottom talk about everything inside and see how the run went. It's been a slippery one, wet one, foggy day, windy day, but a lot of fun. Hopefully we get down safe. We'll talk about it inside. Started to fully rain, but we're gonna make it out. We made it to the bottom, good timing. Just got out of there before everything got even more wet, more loose, more muddy. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A lot of rain, a lot of rain. All right, so we're all back and dried off. Fun day out there. It's always fun to push myself a little bit and just see where my own two feet can take me. Definitely one of the more like treacherous weather conditions that I've seen up there in the times that I've climbed Mount Beacon, but still a lot of fun. And if you have some experience, it honestly wasn't too bad today. It's not really a dangerous or difficult climb. There's a lot of people that go up there with kids and dogs. It's tough, but it's not really serious or dangerous or anything like that. I'll put the stats of the run on your screen now had a lot of fun with it it makes sense if you look at that GAP which is a grade adjusted pace that I would be going a little bit slower compared to my flat running I'm not really a great vertical runner but I'm doing my best working on it and after the New York City half marathon I'll be getting ready for the Mount Beacon half marathon right there on that mountain 13.1 miles for me sometime in May I forget the exact date but we did that last year and it was a lot of fun. So I wanna see if I can improve that time of about four hours on a very difficult up and down. Again, like I said, I'm not a great mountain runner. So practicing, we'll see how it goes. And it's just a lot of fun to share all that scenery and stuff with you. Unfortunately, it was foggy, but still made for a good adventure on my part. Hopefully you get something out of it, getting to watch it all back. So happy holidays, everybody. I don't know for sure if I'm posting anything before Christmas, but right after Christmas, I officially start my New York City half marathon training block. I'll start posting stuff again as I begin my training, share my workouts, initial track sessions, things like that. I'm excited to get into it. I'm feeling pretty good today after everything with the mountain climbing and, you know, PTs going well still so things are looking good hopefully we'll get out there be happy healthy and running our new york city half marathon at full strength this year so we'll see wish me luck and again just a happy holidays to everyone thank you for watching take care